Let's see in this lecture a better way in which we can share data between different CloudFormation stacks using CDK. And uh, what situation do we have right here? Well, we have two stacks, the Photos stack, which creates a bucket, and the Photos Handler stack, which needs that bucket to put data into it. Well, how we can share data between uh, these two stacks using only TypeScript features? Very simple. Let's start with the properties of this Photos Handler stack. And remember, it needs a reference to the bucket. Well, inside the Photos Handler stack, until now, we were uh, getting this information from the fn import values with the Photos bucket. This will not be the case anymore, so we won't need this. But what we need is these properties. And uh, notice in the, inside the constructor that this properties object is of type CDK stack props and it is an optional property. Well, because all these properties are optional, but let's create for ourselves some required properties. So to do this, I will extend this stack properties, which is an interface. So here I will create an interface. And I will call this Photos Handler Stack Props. And this extends the CDK Stack Props, like this. And inside the definition of this interface, we will only need a target bucket that we will put inside our Lambda function. So here I will say target bucket ARN, and this is of type string all right and now what all we need to do is to pass this target bucket arn or first of all we need to specify that these properties are of type photo center stack props and they are not optional anymore they are required and now inside our environment where we would need this information we will say that this information we will take it from the props and we will take it from the target bucket, ARN. Well, this is one side of the story, and this is how we retrieve information from the stack properties. Of course, that at this point, we need to, we have a compilation error where we are initializing this stack, because now we need to provide an object with this target bucket, ARN. Well, we need this target bucket, ARN, from inside the photos, stack. Well, what we can do is to export this target bucket ARN from the photo stack at the point where it is created. So inside this photo stack, until now we were exporting it as a cloud formation output. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. And what we need, we will, I will create a public read-only field and I will call it Photos bucket. You can give it any name you like. Because CDK will provide itself a name of type string. Photos bucket ARN. Just like this. And uh, what we want right now, after we have the bucket, we can assign, assign the ARN of this bucket to this property. So after we have the bucket, I will call this Photos bucket ARN is our photos bucket and bucket ARN, just like this. And now we have this information inside this stack. Let's now see how we can pass it to the other stack. Well, what we can do, we can access it right here. This is the photos bucket ARN. But of course, in order to access it, we need a reference to this photo stack. So here I'll say const photos stack is this photo stack and I created this reference in order to use it inside the other stack. So now we have the target ARN and I will call right here photos bucket ARN. This is all the work we needed in order to pass information between two stacks. Let's see if this works. So as an, an important check, we should uh, first delete the other stacks that we deployed in the last lecture, otherwise we will have some errors. 
So if I will go to my uh, web browser, make sure that you deleted your other stacks, otherwise you, you will have a small error. But now let's call first CDK synth to see if everything is all right. And yes, everything is all right. Let's call CDK deploy and let's call CDK deploy all. And, and if you remember from the last lecture, in the last lecture we had a problem because CDK was first deploying this photos handler stack and only then was deploying this photo stack and it had a problem since this one required information from this one. Let's see if we have this problem also in this uh, use case. As you can see, at this point CDK is smart enough to uh, understand that we first need this photos stack to be deployed. So it will deploy it first. And since we will use information from this stack, it will only deploy the other stack once this stack is deployed. So we won't have the same problem as we had in the previous lecture. And our first stack is deployed. We can see the photo stack is deployed. Let's now also confirm the other stack that we want to deploy it with some uh, policies generated by CDK. All right, and our photos handler stack is also deployed. Let's check it inside the console. So if we go now to the console, you can see we have the two stacks. If we look at the photo stack and we check the outputs, you'll see that now it has the same output, you know, the ARN that we were exporting, but now the key is somewhat generated by CDK. This is the only difference. Under the hood, it does the same thing with FN outputs, and with uh, CloudFormation outputs and to with FN imports inside the other stack. Well, if we will check this uh, stack at the resources, you'll see if we open this Lambda in the new tab, at configuration, we can check the environment variables. And as you can see, it is passed right here. Very good. Well, we saw in this lecture a great way in which we can share information between two stacks by using stack properties.